painting stuff? Yeah, you know, all sorts of emotions, uh, mostly joy, but um, you know, I kind of had that uh, idea come along and that was my goal this whole time. But, you know, I definitely took a moment to, you know, just thank God for the opportunity and uh, just feel appreciative of it. What was that to you? Like, what, what did Kenny say or how did it all happen? Yeah, they actually texted me the night before, so it wasn't in person. I was by myself, got a text. Uh, you know, we had kind of like sprinkled around this the subject and kind of got a hint of it before so uh you know it wasn't a complete shock or anything but uh you know being by myself it just made me really be able to embrace the moment and uh you know like i said thank god same you transferred here how much did you believe in this well? yeah you know i mean that's your that's uh coming out the portal that's your main intention you know finding a school where you know you feel like you're gonna develop the best but also get a shot to you know play as a you know as your first year in the program so Coming into here, you know, I thought I thought I was going to start 100%. You know, obviously, uh, got to beat out Jaden, and uh, then we brought Jeff in, and you know, Trent's been here for a while, so uh, it's been a process for sure. But uh, you know, I don't know if you really like put a percentage on it. It's kind of always been into the uh, situation thinking you're going to get started. Marcus said when you came here for your recruitment meeting, you know, six hours. What do you remember about that day? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we sat in the office and you know just talked schematics and. Uh, you know, everything about quarterback play, you know, off the field, mental, you know, how you carry yourself as a leader, uh, mechanics, uh, you know, footwork, you know, philosophies, guys you train with. And we actually talked as well when I first met him in person at, uh, at the dinner for like two hours about mechanics as well. So, you know, he's a ball junkie just like me. What do you think you learned the most of Cam so far now that it's time to What do you think was your biggest moment of growth? Uh, I mean, just seeing the defense um, constantly growing and, you know, footwork timing, timing's massive, uh, understanding where your outlets are and just seeing different looks and understanding, you know, in every single play when you get a certain look, where you're going to go with the ball. Uh, so just things along those lines. Kenny's mentioned how you changed your leadership style from spring to now. What was part of that process for you? Did you ever think about that a lot? And how did that, how did that mindset Yeah, you know, we talked about it during spring. Uh, it's hard to make such of a big adjustment in the moment. Uh, coming into spring, you know, I just wanted it so bad that, you know, I was just approaching people and myself, you know, I was treating myself, uh, you know, too harshly. And I was, you know, beating myself up and then I was taking it out on the team as well. Uh, you know, so I realized um, Kenny had a lot of talks with me and just, you know, he really, really emphasized that and said that was one of the biggest uh, transitions that Bo made come from Auburn to Oregon. So, you know, I took that as a, as a big role and I feel like I've done a way better job. I actually still room for improvement, but... How much do you hear about Bo and just his evolution over a five-year college period, and how much do you study him or other guys? Yeah, you know, me and me and Coach Dillian talk about Bo a bunch. You know, he, he says I resemble him, which you know, which is amazing to hear. Um, you know, so I try to watch him play and uh, just see how he uh, how he operates. You know, the, the different type of um, checks and reads he makes in terms of protections is what really separates him, and you know, that's the level I'm trying to get to. So. Uh, just understanding, you know, starting off the game and, uh, you know, taking what the defense gives you and letting the big plays open up at the end. Yeah, you know, when you make your decision to come to ASU, um, you know, you look at past history, you know, with quarterback success offensively and, you know, everything with that. So him being with Jordan Travis and Bo Nix and elevating their game and, being able to sit down with him and um, understand what he did exactly to make him get there, uh, you know, it's really appealing. You had a couple of nice long completions to receivers today. How does that process go? It seems like it's been pretty seamless for you. Uh, like getting, in, getting on the same page with your receivers. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just reps, like I always say. Uh, you know, I missed a couple earlier earlier in camp, and I really want to hit the deep ones. So that's kind of been one of my bigger emphasis, um, you know, because I've missed a few. So coming out today and being able to hit two for two today, you know, I felt really good. Uh, so I was happy about that. Sure. How so, big has it been for you to have both Jeff and Trent considering all the experience they have now competing against them, kind of just learning them and developing their position? Yeah, you know, Trent's great and Jeff's great. You know, they've both been and played in a lot of games and situations. And, you know, they both have a lot of wise words to tell me. So just taking bits and pieces and, uh, you know, understanding what it takes to be a quarterback at this level. Um, you know, and just constantly competing. You know, that's one of my favorite things to do in life, you know, so in that, 
every aspect. You know, I'm always trying to beat them and whatever it is. I mean, you could, you know, conditioning, if we're shooting hoops, uh, if we're playing a board game, you know, I always want to win. So uh, just constantly competing with them and uh, trying to one-up them. Yeah, what drives me? Um, I don't know. I guess my why is just this is all I've known. My family's a football family, and uh, it's kind of just what I've done since a young age. My brother instilled it in me, and so did my dad. Uh, so it's just you know taking it day by day, and every single day, me and my brother uh, live by a motto: just you know, how great do you want to be? That's the question. So I have that on my mirror when I wake up. Um, you know, I ask myself that question, and you know, coming out to practice and this weather and. Uh, you know, you're hot out and you got to get the juices going and you're tired. So, uh, you know, every single day, just push yourself to the max and, you know, asking yourself how great do you want to be because, you know, it's as great as you're going to make yourself. So, so, Sam, since the spring, you've got really two major additions in tight ends from my mid tier and Marvin Silver and Malik McClain. Looks like those guys really hit the ground running in full camp. Um, how much have they really elevated this offense just in the spring? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's a really good addition to have them both. You know, I've connect, connect with them on a bunch of balls and, you know, they're, they're really smart players and have a good feel for the game, so they picked up really quick. You know, it's been a huge addition, and, you know, we're going to see a lot of it this season. So how do you answer that question when you ask yourself in the morning? How do I answer it? Uh, well, it's just, it's not like you have an answer. It's <laughs> how great do you want to be, you know? So I guess my actions are my answer um, throughout the entire day. You know, what I eat, you know, uh, how much I sleep, you know, do I do everything I need to do the night before in the film meetings, you know, and then uh, how I carry myself to my teammates so that, you know, they can uh, do the same thing as well and make the team the best. When you get that come. text from Kenny, is there a sigh of relief to take a breath? Is it time to take a breath now? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you got you to gotta enjoy the moment for sure. Uh, you know, I, I probably sat there for, you know, a few minutes and just really soaked it in and, you know, just put my put my phone down and sat there on the on the ground just looking at the ceiling and really, you know, indulging the moment. Uh, but, you know, going forward, that was the ultimate plan. So, if anything, gives me, you know, more juice. You know, now I'm the guy. Now I got to hold myself to that standard. Now I got to keep that because, you know, you only stay at this if you perform. So, uh, just got to keep going and, you know, keep getting better. On that mirror, where did that come from? Uh, that idea to have a uh, great PB on your mirror. Uh, well, me and my brother have just kind of lived lived by that our whole lives. He he always said it for me growing up. Every single time, you know, before. Uh, before a workout when I was tired, if I didn't want to stretch and stuff like that. You know, I didn't want to eat that extra meal to gain the weight I needed to gain. Um, so I don't know if it was an idea by anybody. I just had a, I have a whiteboard and I had another note on my fridge, um, you know, just saying people counted you out, prove them wrong. Um, so I just I just saw the marker and wanted to write it on my rear, on my mirror. So uh, nobody gave me the idea, I just got out of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it means a whole lot. Uh, just just proves, you know, the work that I've put in has um, has really meant something. And, you know, you, you sit in the office late at night and while you're stretching, you really ask yourself, why why are you doing what you do? You know, because you want to see results. So when the results are given and, you know, it's been a long time since, um, I mean, maybe not a long time, but one year since I've been named a starter since my senior high school. Uh, so I've just been so hungry for it. And, uh, yeah, it's just, why do you do it? Oh, I mean, just compared to last year, I feel ten times better. It's, it's night and day. You know, throwing the football. Um, you know, seeing the defense. You know, protections. I'm always going to keep working. That's something that you know I feel like is going to separate me um, this season, and you know, I'm just going to constantly keep drilling it. Uh, but in terms of preparedness, you know, I, I don't know if I could ask for much more other than a, another year under my belt, which you know I can't make. Uh, I don't have a time machine, so can't do that. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really ready to go and feel like we have a good team this year. It takes a lot of work to become a power forward starting quarterback. You know, what are some of the things that you really love about playing the quarterback position? Just being in control. Um, since a young age, I feel like I've always wanted to have the ball in my hands, whether that's in football or basketball. You know, I always want to take the last shot um, in hoops for the game winner. So, um, you know, I just kind of carried over and, you know, I'm a pretty controlling person in general personality-wise. So uh, just that aspect of it. And then, uh, you know, you live and die by the sword. So, you know, you're, you're all the success or you're all the failure. Um, and, and I love that. You know, that's what I play it for. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't do this for any of the fame or 
anything like that. So I just, I love being out on the field and having the ball in my hands and being able to make a play and, you know, hear the crowd roar and, you know, have our team go crazy and everything like that. So it's pretty special when you're able to make those plays.